Hi, class. Uh, this is the last uh, discussion board. Um, I've actually enjoyed doing these discussion boards. I hope you've enjoyed watching them, if you have watched them. And as I've put in the title on this, I'm hoping everybody in the class actually does read this one. For this information that I want to pass on to you, I've used Excel a lot. Excel has come into play a lot in my, my past life. Now, it is a tool. It is a very, very useful tool. And that's the important thing. It is not a Bible. It is not law. It is not the end-all means to a problem or a solution. It is a tool to help organize, present, and find areas where your organization or yourself or your budget or anything mathematical can be improved. Now, the assignment was to find three examples of uh, um, easy sites that are free to use. I've posted them below the link um, in this uh, uh, posting. Uh, my first one was xleasy.com. It's probably the easiest one. Puts things out in layman's terms. Very, very simple. And even if you don't know what the name of a function is or what you want, if you can you know, have a good idea, a category, you'll find it in the category in layman's terms, and they'll spell it right out, and you'll be able to find it. They'll link it through all the steps. The second site, which is very very easy, too, but is more for the, I would say, the advanced player person, excuse me, because it uses more um, Excel jargon, um, function this and, and swapping this and that. It doesn't, it, it, it uses more the, the uh, verbiage rate right from Excel in its definitions of functions and, and processes. Again, very easy, clicks through. Now what's nice about this one and compared to the other easier site is they both give great detail, but this one compacts it into less screens that you have to click through or scroll through, which is a factor um, um, that um, benefits many sites because if you get there fast, you don't have to look around for much. Uh, people are more happier with your site. Now I put the headquarters of Microsoft, the juggernaut himself, as the third option because that is available option. We're students and you'll have as long as you're 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 affiliated with ASU and and, and or other educational organizations, you'll have access to Excel and the Microsoft platform on the cloud now as they've moved everything to cloud and and their pay role uh, the way that they receive revenues for their software now is through subscriptions. Well education we get we get we get a buy on that. Well, their site is the end all. It is the ultimate end of all the discussions and, 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 and means in which to uh, get the answer. I'm going to sneeze here. I apologize. I'm, I'm fighting it off. Um, sorry for the weird face. Uh, um, but it is the Excel site. And one nice thing is, is if you hit the help button in 365 um, that we have free, it's going to actually link directly to their database and, and their their um, uh, answer sheets, frequently asked questions, or how to how to do something. Again, it's going to be more jargon related. It's not going to be in layman's terms, but at this point in in the world, uh, Microsoft expects everybody to have been dealing with it since probably kindergarten, which might be true. Um, so those are my three that I put in there. But I want to take a few minutes again and talk about the importance of using Excel as a tool. Um, I've been presented times where I'm supposed to take an Excel spreadsheet results and use that as an HR method in uh, training, developing, and or disciplining and, and, and walking, you know, plotting somebody's path outside uh, a, a, a store as you know they're not going to make it and um, the problem is is it's a spreadsheet and there can be errors in it and I found them in, the, in, in that case where I would not use that to uh, reprimand somebody but each one of those cells is a formula it's a number it's either data it's a formula or or it's a if then some type of function related to the data that you're going to be putting in there but what I want you to want you to remember wherever you go, whenever you deal with this stuff, 
please, I abhor you. Remember those cells mean something else. Their data or their functions, but they mean something. They came from something. They're a result of something. Next, something could be you. That could be your team. That could be employees. And most times, it affects people directly. So when an Excel spreadsheet turns into, you know, like the rule of law and all someone is attempting to do is make a number larger or smaller at any costs and not thinking about what's behind that real number, the generation of that number. That's when problems will actually um, start growing to a point where you may lose valuable people. You may you may lose your company. Um, I've ha had the um, opportunity to work with three companies um, prior to this one I'm working with now. I work now at Lowe's and I'm working to get my degree, as I've said in the introduction, to get out of retail um, because it's just ruthless anymore. It is. It has lost its, its, it'll say it's all customer service, but it's not. It's all dollar driven. It's a, it, plain and simple as. And uh, the big problem in the past is two of those three companies that I work for turned uh, spreadsheets P&L, a profit and loss is a, 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 a report generated generally from a spreadsheet. And we had the example of it in this last inventory control and profit and net and loss. Profit and loss thing and a return on investment, all those type of things. When those things became numbers that they had to get higher at any cost or lower the cost, lower the, you know, expenses at any cost. First place they would go would be payroll. Unfortunately, it creates a downward spiral and everybody thinks it's not going to happen to them. I'm telling you, after 30 some years, you get into that downward spiral. It's like a, what's it, that, that whirlpool in the middle of the ocean that uh, Jack Black in the uh, um, his uh, Caribbean movies get sucked down into you can't get out of it it's it, 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 it the only way out is somebody buys your company and then they either rebuild it in their own image or they destroy it and just tear it apart and that's usually what happens and so I'm I'm imploring you don't let that happen to yourself don't let those 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 blocks of Excel which are in Excel I love it I love Excel like I love creating reports and analyzing things in my own life and, and anything else I I, I used to drive my my, my teachers in high school nuts because that was whoosh, whoosh, crap. That was back before Excel existed. I was always coming up with an analysis on numbers and things and, and comparisons and ratios. And then Excel came out, and I was like, oh. So I had a I I've enjoyed using Excel. I like it, but I've learned not to forget what those little boxes mean. They generally might mean people behind it more times than not and uh, a decision on increasing or decreasing that has a lot more to do with than just saying I need you to cut hours I need you to cut out your advertising I need you to eliminate your transportation costs no more donations no more of this no more of that to cut 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 it is always easier for a P&L to look better is if you can do anything you can to promote that top line sales and in our examples that was uh, some meals improving meals and then one last thing I'm gonna leave you with and I I I mean to go long because this is very important it's a, I'm only nine minutes in but any of your states that you live in your unemployment agent your unemployment office I I almost guarantee you, if you go to your unemployment office, you can actually sign up for free Microsoft Office classes. It's free, offered by the state to help re-educate and retrain people in the digital age using Microsoft Office because it is used in, and it's listed almost on every resume for anything in, related to business, from a secretary all the way up. You have to have proficiency. They would like to have proficiency and experience in all of these platforms. So check your unemployed. Even if you're employed, you are eligible. You can go and take a class from your state unemployment office. 
you know, it might be a, an evening, couple of evenings. I don't mine. I, I did it in one day. Um, I took an XL in one day and then I took an advanced XL in one day. Um, for me, I, by the end of the first day, I was helping the instructor. So you might find yourself doing the same thing, but you'll, you get a little certificate. It's kind of cool, but it also, I learned some little tricks and, uh, um, one little trick I'll leave you with, that sum equals sum. You could go equal sum. If you go into one corner of a grid, of a square grid, like say it's five columns long, five columns down, you go equal sum, go up in the upper left corner, drag all the way down to the, the diagonal right corner, it'll sum that whole group, all the columns. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, um, yeah, it's fun, but please don't forget is actually probably people behind those numbers in any of the positions you get into. And that's all I like to say. I really appreciate all your feedback, especially Professor, um, for this class. I've enjoyed the class. I've enjoyed reading the, the notes from you and other guys. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, I'm looking forward to what the final project is now. So because that's the thing, last thing on the list. So drop me a line. I'm always available. You guys have my email. I'd love to help anybody else any way I can. And uh, thanks again. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, fear the fork. Go ASU.